another beautiful day here in Dhaka, Bangladesh. And today, I'm going to show you guys a little bit of the modern side of Bangladesh. I will show you, obviously, the traditional side, the old school, and the realness. But today, I want to show you what Bangladesh has been doing in the last few years as far as development. And look at this huge mall. So today I'm going to show you what a shopping mall in Bangladesh looks like. And this shopping mall is, I think, is this the biggest mall in Dhaka or? Yes, the biggest, mall. biggest mall in Dhaka? Yes. Yeah, so this is the biggest mall in Dhaka. It's known as Bashun, Bashundara, Bashundara Mall. And you can see it's huge. Apparently in this mall, there is a, there's 19 floors. 19 floors and over 2,500 retail outlets. So you have tons and tons and tons of shops. And this is where the people come to hang out, especially on rainy days like this one. So we're going to go and hang out ourselves and see what is this crazy mall like. This mall is huge, man. Look at this. This is all one mall. Insane. And this is the main entrance here, I think. So we're going to go inside. There's no way I'm going to be able to finish. This is YouTube. Nice to meet you. All right. So. Here it is, the Bashundara, insanely huge mall. Right, right, right. This way? Right. Okay. All right, welcome to the mall, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Bashundara Mall in Dhaka. Wow, look at this, man. Holy crap, it's huge. <laughs> it's a big mall. Wow. It is really, really big. How many floors? It's like 20 floors or something, right? Yes. 19 floors, I heard, yeah. Damn, son. Look at this. And it's all circular. Now, this is just one section. If you go down that way, there's more as well. So, it's, it's a never-ending mall. I don't see any brand names. I see mostly local vendors. So, people bringing clothes from probably China and different places. But the one thing about Bangladesh also that we shouldn't forget is that Bangladesh is one of the leading uh, manufacturers of textiles in the world. So after China and all that, Bangladesh is like up there. So a lot of these clothes are probably made in Bangladesh, which is very interesting. I do want to talk to somebody who speaks English and ask them a few questions. So let's see if we can find somebody. Okay, no problem. How are you, brother? Assalamualaikum. You speak English, I can tell. Yeah, I know. How are you? Nice to meet you. I'm making a vlog about this mall. So, is this your business? Yes. What kind of business is this? Uh, it's called uh, Burka. Uh, Burka. Hello, hello. Uh, women's women's clothing. Yes. So that's all the only thing you sell. Yes. To me, Burka. Now, this is a Burka kimono. Okay. Um, do these products come from Bangladesh? Uh, the fabrics come from China. From China. Uh, we bought from market. Uh, we buy from market and then make it. It. you make it here. I know that Bangladesh is one of the leading uh, countries in textile, making clothes. Actually, some of the shirts that I buy in America, they say made in Bangladesh. So, many things that you see in, for sale in this mall, are they made in Bangladesh or is made overseas? Average 90% are made in Bangladesh. That's amazing. Uh, or 10% is it's come export. from so the exported products are usually more expensive, right? Yes. Okay. But do Bangladesh people, they take pride in buying their local products, right? Uh, some, so many people try to buy export items. Because they want to be like, uh, they see it on TV, they want to be like that. But do you think that, um, do you, do you think that Bangladeshi people should buy local, local uh, brands? They should buy local if the buy from Bangladesh, Bangladeshi product, uh, we'll, we will be inspired. Definitely. To and it make. will help the economy. Yes. Yes, yes. definitely. Uh, sorry for I am. No, your English little, is great. Thank you so much. What's your name? Uh, Sakib. Sakib, Maya. Assalamu alaikum, brother. Very nice to meet you. Sakib, such a gentleman, guys. So this is your business. Uh, what's the name of your business? Borka Aydin. Borka Aydin. My shop name is Iran Fashion House. Iran Fashion House. So guys, if you need something and you're here in Dhaka, you need some women's clothing, make sure you come to my boy Sakib. Thank you, brother. Thank you so much. Assalamu alaikum. Yeah, right. so uh, as you heard him say, a lot of the products that you see here, 90% of them are actually made in Bangladesh. 
So that's really cool, man, that they have their own products. So as I was saying, there's a lot of local shops, but at the same time, you might run into a few exported brands as well, like Longines, Tissot, Prado, you know, some of these international brands, you'll see them. But for the most part, it's uh, local brands, and that's really cool. Ooh, my man's got Seikos here. Let's see if he's got some old ones. I do like old Seikos. Sound like a brother. How are you? Do you have a uh, old Seikos? Like a uh, Seiko 5? Seiko 5. Yeah? I love old Seikos. It's color old Seiko, Seiko 5. That's the old ones. Ah, uh, okay. They're not too old. I was thinking like, how long this line, you know? It's not long. Nah? Yeah. These, I like the old ones. This one is from 1980, I think. Yeah. That's what I look for usually. No problem. Thank you, brother. Really. Is this your business? No. Yeah. How long have you been? No. You're, you're working. My business. You're working. My brother. Oh, your brother's business. Yeah. How long have you guys uh, been? Almost 12 years. 12 years yeah. in this mall. Yeah. yeah. And how long has this mall been open? Uh, 2004. 2004. Very nice. And how's business? It's good. Yeah. It's going good. Very good. Inshallah. Sure. Better for you. I have some. Well, sure. This, this is our showroom. You? you? No, this. Oh, this is, okay. This is our showroom. Oh, you have more than one. Almost six showrooms. Six showrooms? MashaAllah. Wow, you guys are doing good, man. What? Well, wish you all the best, brother. All the best. Thank you so much. What's your name? Mohammed Shah. Mohammed Shah. My, what, what's the name of your business? Time View. Time View. Okay. Thank you, brother. Thank you. I see some footsteps leading to Puma. So let's follow the footsteps. I love how they have footsteps leading to Puma. Oh, here we go. A big Puma sign. I think we're headed in the right direction now. Let's see. Puma. Assalamualaikum. Which way is the Puma store? This way. Thank you. All right, so we're gonna go find out how much Puma costs here. I just always like to see what foreign brands cost because in some countries, foreign brands are really, really expensive. Like when I was in Myanmar, if you watch my video in the mall, some of the Nike shoes cost like $200. I can get them for like $50 back home. So it's always interesting to see. Thank you, brother. How are you? Nice to meet you. Can I see your, can I just check around? Sure. Oh, cool. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm just making a vlog. About yeah, is that okay? Display for you. No, no, it looks great. It looks great. Very nice display. Um, I have a question. Is this like real Puma from? Yes. Yeah. Is it made in Bangladesh or? No. 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 It's from Vietnam. It's okay. Vietnam from Vietnam. Okay. Does Bangladesh make any like? Because I know a lot of clothes is made in Bangladesh, but does Bangladesh make any of these companies now? Uh, shoes not available. Uh, around fifteen percent apples can. Apparently it's made in Bangladesh. Really? Yes. Like the Puma, and they send it all yeah. over the world? Yes. Wow, man, Bangladesh is amazing. You guys, like, I think, I think Bangladesh will be the, the strong player in uh, manufacturing after 10 years. Inshallah. They will pass China, inshallah. Inshallah. But how much does a shoe like, how much does a shoe like this cost here? This is 13,499. 13,499, guys, for this shoe, which in USD, Pardon my mathematics. I'm not the best mathematician, but I think in USD that's about $135, right? Am I right? Yeah, $135 for that shoe, which is a little bit more than I would probably pay back home. But it makes sense because these are exported, uh, imported goods, so they have to charge for the taxes and all of that as well. So, but it's always interesting to see how much goods like this cost around the world. But it's also really, really cool that some of these Puma shirts that you're gonna see here are actually made in this country and it's a real Puma you don't see that a lot say like this one right here this one, is made in this one is made in Bangladesh I just want to highlight the fact that a lot of the products that you buy in your country whether you're in Europe or America or anywhere in Asia a lot of your products are coming from Bangladesh so be thankful to the Bangladeshi people <laughs> okay. thank you guys <laughs> is there a Nike store here by any chance or this is in uh, it's a different mall. Thank you guys so much. Bye-bye.
All right, so there we go. That's what uh, Puma costs here in um, in Dhaka, or Bangladesh. Big corporations are using Bangladesh to make their products now, which is really cool because for many years it's been China, China, made in China, or Vietnam. But now you're starting to see manufacturing switch over here to Bangladesh, which is really good for the people, man, and the economy. So it's cool to see it. Really, really cool. Now, how the heck do we find this food court? I have no idea. I think it's on the top floor. Eighth floor. Eighth floor is full. It's the last floor. The top floor. It's the top floor. Okay. All right. So we're going to go to the top floor. All right, guys. We're trying to get into the elevator and it's very packed. Look at this. This is how it goes down in Bangladesh. This is how we're going to get into the elevator. It's going to be very awkward, but we're going to do it. Let's do it. All right. Can we get it? No problem. All right, guys. Here we are. This is the uh, this gate is locked. Oh, it's locked. Okay. All right. Packed. Oh, we have to stay in. This is very tight quarters, guys. This reminds me of uh, the metro in Ethiopia. It's not closing. I think you have to come in. You have to come in. Yeah. Let's see. All right. Here we go. That elevator was madness. It took forever. I was sweating my, my gonads off. And um, it's very hot. Very interesting experience. Uh, this guy's also a YouTuber. Guys, I just met a fellow YouTuber. Also, uh, Facebook. What's your channel? Tell the people. My channel name is Schumann Blocks. Schumann Blocks. How do you spell that? S S U M O N. S U M O N Blocks. Blocks. Schumann Blocks. On Facebook. Facebook Khaled Hoshen. Huh? Khaled Hoshen. Khaled Hoshen on Facebook. Go follow him. He's got a lot of followers, like 350,000. What kind of content do you make? Funny content. Funny content. In Bangladesh. It's scripted content, not okay. a vlog. Very nice. Go follow him, guys. We're, we got to support each other, you know? Nice to meet you, brother. Assalamu alaikum. All right. So, right here is the food court, guys. This is where you can get... Water. Huh? Yeah, I need some water. I definitely need some water. But I also want to try some different uh, snack here. Wow, man. Look at this. So the, another cool thing, I don't see any McDonald's, I don't see any Burger King, I don't see any Wendy's, I don't see any Taco Bell. What I do see is local businesses and local vendors selling their food and drinks and snacks. And that to me is awesome because you know what? You don't want to... Assalamu alaikum. How are you? Yeah, I'm going to do that. Yes. Is Pakistan? Yes. Yeah, I'm going to give you a move. YouTube. YouTube. Yeah, Pakistan. Amar to the end. Huh? Amar to the end. I'm sorry, I don't speak Bangla. I'm Bangla. Yeah, sorry. Yes. Sorry. Uh, Arabi. Uh, Urdu? Urdu bolta? Haan. Uh, Urdu? Thora thora. Thora thora? Acha. Uh. Mera Bangla thora thora. Haan. Uh. Nikhil to mama? Sundar. Bohol. Thank you. Indian, Chinese, Mexican and kebab. Wow, so many different cuisine. Thank you. Thank you, brother. All right, so. Um, once again, man, these uh, how are you guys? Very good, very good. Um, yeah, the, the uh, Bangladeshi people are so kind, everybody wants to say hello. It's a very, very good vibe. So, as chaotic and crazy as it is in Dhaka, the peace comes from the people. The people are really cool, so that's nice. I do want to try a snack, so we're gonna walk around and see. Maybe they have some kind of Bang Bangladeshi. Uh, snack or something that we can try. Yes, yeah, so Bangladeshi, Chinese, uh, Italian. Yeah. Oh, they have all kinds of food. And Korean. They have Korean too. Wow. Oh, nice. Oh, shawarma house. Oh, okay, okay, okay. If I'm hungry and now no hungry. Next time. Yeah. <laughs> we just ate before, so I'm not so hungry to eat food. But I did want to show you guys what the food court looks like. Yeah, you got Indian. You got iced tea. Salam alaikum. You have Indian, Indian Shahi. You have Korean. Wow. You have so many different Korean and Indian in one restaurant. Man, that, that's very efficient. You can get Korean, Chinese, Indian, Mexican, all in the same place. Salam alaikum. You know what? Even though I'm not so hungry, I was told if you come to Bangladesh, you have to try BFC. This is the BFC. Best fried chicken. This is like the KFC of Bangladesh. Literally. As you can see, BFC. Hello, baby. So, um, 
Apparently, this is supposed to be better than KFC, better than any fried chicken I've tried. There's a lot of hype around this place. So I said, you know what? We got to try something from BFC. So let's see. What? Fried? Huh? Fried chicken? How many? Two? Let's get two pieces. Yeah, two pieces. Two pieces. I, I don't want too much. I just want to try it. Uh, 240. Yeah. One piece yeah. for you, one piece for okay, me. Okay. Let's get... Can we do two... Uh, 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 two this chicken. one? Two rib. Yeah. rib. This one, no. I don't want the leg. Yeah. Let's do this leg. You, which one do you like? Okay, okay. okay no which, problem. No problem. No problem. Uh, no, what do you... Oh, no, 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 no. no, no, no. <laughs> this guy is so nice. Yeah. What do you like? You like this one? Okay, okay, no problem. You are, you like, you like me. Well, all like, all like. I don't think he's understanding what I'm saying. But yeah, this is their, this is their. Uh, yes, yes. Hello, How are you, brother? Um, can I, um, can we order this one? Two piece crispy chicken, and that's it. Two hundred forty. Two hundred forty. Okay. And is this the most uh, best fried chicken in Bangladesh? Number one bang, uh, for chicken? Number one. And this is best fried chicken? Yes. Or Bangladesh fried chicken? Yes. Very nice. Alright uh, guys, so now, here we are. Here is the good old BFC as you can see. Look at that. Wow. Fresh chicken. And they made it right now. It's fresh. Yes. Fresh. Abhi banaya. Yeah, Abhi banaya. Yeah, that's the thing. This ain't been sitting there. This is whipped and made as made to order. So now we're gonna try it out. They give you some hot tomato sauce with it. Tomato sauce. Hot tomato sauce. And it. Pran. Pran tomato sauce. Pran. Pran. Pran tomato sauce. Pran tomato sauce. All right. So let's try this out. What do you say, Rabul? Yes. Which one? You want this one? Yes. This one? Mm -hmm. Okay. Alrighty, so you take the ketchup, then take some ketchup. So yeah, many people have been bragging about BFC, saying, hey Meyer, you think KFC is good? Or hey, you think fried chicken in Korea is good? Or hey, you, you think you tried the best fried chicken? You ain't tried nothing yet. BFC is the best. So let's see. Let's see if the hype is, lives up to it. Okay. Not good. good I'm not going to lie. That slaps. That's really good. That's really, really good. And you can see, it's real chicken. It's not like KFC. It's not that fake chicken that KFC uses. This is real halal chicken. Right? It's halal. Mm. That's the one thing about eating in Muslim countries. Even in, um, you know, like Dubai or anywhere. When you go and you have fast food, it's always better because it's halal and they have to use a certain quality of meat or else they can't sell it. Their standards. It's not like back home with that fake chicken, that fake meat. So shout out to BFC, man. They know, they know what they're doing. Guys, that noise is the rain. The rain has come back. So it's hitting the roof and it's causing a lot of noise. But anywho, this chicken is definitely better than KFC. A million times. Better than Nando's, better than KFC, better than McDonald's, better than all that garbage. Shout out to BFC. If I was going to give it an out of 10, 8.5 because nothing is a perfect 10. I'm sure there's some fried chicken out there better than this, but I haven't tried it yet. Oh man, I'm so full. But I'm looking at these smoothies and it looks good. Assalamu alaikum, bhai. How are you? Good? Very good. You have this smoothie, huh? This one. Bye. Green mango. Um, which one is which one is the best one? Number one. Konsa. No, uh, smoothie. Fruit, fruit. Oh, this one looks good. Green mango. Oh, green mango. Okay. Let me try. Do you have a mix? Green mango? Mango mix? Okay, you know what? I'll, I'll try this one. Green mango. Green mango one. One, yeah. What's the difference? 700 cc? Oh, okay, okay. Can I have 500? 500 cc, yeah. Thank you, brother. I like green mango, 500. We're gonna try. Uh, you want something to drink or no? 
This, this is my water? This yeah, my? yeah, yeah. Oh, Next time. Next okay. time dosa. Next day, dosa nay. I'm I'm getting a drink. Okay, okay. Yeah. I want one. No, no. No, you don't want? Okay. Alright. So we're gonna get a green mango. Green mango for 240. Again, that's another if I calculate that in dollars, 240 is like two dollars and forty cents or something like that. Alright, here we go. The green mango smoothie taste test. Interesting. So I think a green mango is not a ripe mango. It's one that hasn't fully ripened yet. So there's definitely a more sour taste rather than sweet. And I think they put some masala and stuff in it also because I definitely taste some masala. It has a more very peculiar taste. It's not what you would expect when you think mango. But it's actually good and very fresh and not too sweet. So it's healthy, I think. It's what I like to tell myself when I drink these kind of things that it's very good for me. Even if it's not. Oh, they got the Bangladesh cricket jersey. Nice. One second, I just want to check this. Salam alaikum. How are you? Um, it's the. This is the official. Uh, New Bangladesh. The 20, 2023 World Cup. World Cup. How much for one? 1,300. 1,300, so that's like $13. Do you have big size or no? 3XL. 3XL? Maybe. Maybe it will fit me. Um, can I see? Can I try? Yeah. yeah. Alright, we're going to try a jersey, guys, because I love cricket jerseys. And I like to buy one when I come to a country. So we're going to see. But is this like a first copy or? First copy? Can I try? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I bought one in Sri Lanka. And now I have to buy one here in Bangladesh. Let's see how it fits. It fits me because I've been eating too much food, you know? Oh, it's good. It's actually perfect. Perfect. Yeah, it's a bit big, actually. I like it. Short? Huh? Maybe try one less. Yeah, two X. You said 1,300. But you could do better than that, no? Don't discount me at all. You're gonna give me a discount, no? We're gonna talk. No, we're gonna talk. We have to talk, brother. We have to talk. It looks good? Yes. Look at this, guys. Now I'm like officially uh, in Bangladesh, you know? So this is, uh, this is good. I like it. It's a good size. The sleeve is a bit tight. I like the other sleeve, but it's okay. I think this is okay. Bangladesh, man. It's awesome. So how much, brother? 1,300. Ah, no, 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 but we have to. He's official rate. Right? I understand, but you can do 1,000. Uh, no, 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 just only 100 less. 1,200, last price. This, my soft fixed price. Only discount. Let's do 1,000 and I will promote your shop. 1,200. 1,000? No, brother. 1,000 and we have a deal. 1,100 rupees, my costing price. 1,100 1, rupees my costing price. Is it how much you buy it for? See with the profit. Only yeah. small profit. Okay, no problem. 1,100. 1,200. <laughs> this guy's a good businessman. Listen, one thing about Bangladeshi people, they're good businessmen. You cannot negotiate with them. Alright, let me, uh, I guess, one. I'm not going to argue with you, so no problem. 1,200 is okay. Um, let me get my money. Card? Do you take card or no? No. Oh, I wish I could pay with a card. No problem. One thousand, and that's enough, no? <laughs> Just have to try, you know. Have to try. In life, if you don't try, then what are you doing? Oh, can I use the card? Why, brother? Brother, can I use the card? Is better for me. For me? Yeah, because okay. I need my cash. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. Okay. yeah, perfect. I will give you. Okay. I, actually, I will give you a hundred extra because you let me use the card. I will give you more money. Take it? Okay. Alrighty. What an experience, man. This mall honestly felt like I was in a completely different city. Just felt like a city of its own. But. Uh, with that being said guys, I'm gonna wrap this video up. I just wanted to show you what a modern mall and Just a, what the modern side of Dhaka is. There's a lot more 
to this. There's bigger mold than this apparently. I don't even know if I can fathom how big that one would be. But apparently there is a bigger mold. But yeah, it was nice seeing, talking to some people, seeing the food court, trying some good foods and drinks and just experiencing this side of Dhaka. A lot more Bangladesh videos coming soon guys, so make sure you stay tuned. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. With that being said guys, remember, continue to learn, continue to grow, and there is no growth until you leave your comfort zone. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.